hello you're welcome to this video tutorial again this is david gladness and on this particular video i'm going to be teaching you on how you can um design this particular flyer making use of your smartphone all right on how you can use the canva app to replicate this simple design you are seeing right on your screen making use of just the canva app all right so without further ado let's proceed with the video tutorial so as you can see right here i have my canva app being opened so um this is the design and everything was designed from scratch no template was used right so follow me carefully to the end of this particular video so that you as well will be able to achieve something relating to this or even something better than this all right but then please make sure you follow me carefully to the end of this video tutorial so that you will not go off track all right so when you are opening your canva app you are likely going to come across an interface like this if you are opening it for the first time you, are, you might have to sign in or allow some permission all right so to start up your design after you have successfully opened the canva interface just tap on this plus icon you are seeing right here all right so when you tap on the plus icon it's going to take you to this interface click on this place you are seeing custom size then the size we are going to be using is 1280 by 1280 all right that is we are working with one ratio one then click on create new design then allow your workspace to load all right so one thing you have to know is that i am using the canva pro so a little bit difference can be between my canva and yours all right i might be having access to some things that might be different from yours now the background we are going to be using let me scroll down for now the background we are going to be using still remains the white background we are not going to tamper with that so but then there is a kind of feel that was added to the main background so i imported a background now to do that just tap on plus now the resources you are going to need for this particular design will be provided for you wherever you are seeing this video from so i'll just tap on the this place you are seeing gallery to bring in my own design all right to bring in the design just click on gallery now you can see this are my recent folder to locate that particular image i'll just click on this place you are seeing image then you can see this place you are seeing recent just tap on it now when you tap on it you can locate the folder where your own image is if i sent it to you on whatsapp you're going to get it there from whatsapp if you downloaded it you're going to see it under your download folder so i'm just going to look for it under my own folder where i think it is all right so this is the background right here so i'll tap on it then click on add to page now as you can see this is the background right here so i'll just move it up like this then i will increase the size to something really big you can see that so that it can fit into our workspace so that it can fit into our canvas then i'll just position it like this when you see something like that line leave it now go to transparency that's the opacity we want to reduce the transparency to something a bit low so you can just leave this in 50. i think 50 is okay for this this is because we don't want it to be too um, obvious we only we don't want and as well we don't want the background to be just a plain white background that is why we are adding this field so i will scroll down and as you can see the background is done now the next thing i want to do is to bring in the ladies image i used so i'll just tap on plus now um this is the particular ladies image i used right this particular image but then the background has been removed the background has been removed so i'll just tap on this then click on add to page now since i am using the canva pro i can remove the background by myself okay i can tap on it then go to this place you are seeing um fx effects now when i click on fx effects you can see this place you are seeing bg remover then you can see a crown icon there this is because i am using the canva pro i can easily tap on it then the background will be removed automatically without me using an external app but in your own case i am going to be showing you on how you can remove images background for free so you would not have to um, buy the canva pro but then if you are having the canva pro it is actually a very good thing because you don't even need to go and remove the background from an external device or external app rather so i'll just scroll down and as you can see the background is now transparent so i'll just increase the size like this then i'll just position it around this place all right i'll position it around here like this yes i think this is actually great now the next thing we are going to do is to bring in a square shape how do you go about that just tap on plus then click on this place you are seeing elements now when you click on elements we want to make use of a square shape we want to make you can see these are shapes so i'll just bring in a square shape this particular square shape right then as you can see this is what we've got 
Now we'll bring it around here like this. I'll adjust it to something like this. All right. Then I'll bring it down like this. Yeah, I think this is actually good. Now I want to change the color to a brown color. So I'll just click on color. Then the color I actually used was selected. You can see it was selected from this particular lady's image. But then I did not just select it randomly in front of the lady's image. No, I tap on this plus icon you are seeing right here. Then after tapping on it, you can see this pencil like icon you are seeing right here. Just tap on it. Now when you tap on it, you can easily move this particular circle stuff to sample a color from the lady's skin. So I selected that color on the leaves, right? I selected the color from our leaves. I selected the color from my lips. You can see that. Then I'll click on done. So this is not dark enough, actually. The color is not dark enough. You can see this place in case something like this happen. Just click on this place. You are seeing solid color. If your own is on gradient, move it to solid color, not gradient. You want to work with a solid color. So I'll just use my hand to select something much deep or dark. You understand? Then I will scroll down once I'm done with that. And now we are okay with this. Now I want to adjust this lady's image a little bit more by um, reducing the size. All right. Yes, this is actually great. Now I will duplicate this particular shape, right? Duplicate it by, or instead bring in a new shape. You can as well bring in a new shape. Now when you bring in a new shape, this particular one is going to be a yellow color. So just tap on it, then go to this place you are seeing color. Now we are going to be do the same thing, right? We are going to do the same thing, but then we'll sample a color from the lady's clothes this time around. We are going to sample a color from the dark part of the lady's clothes. So you can select this place around the armpit that is a little bit dark, just like a dark yellow. Yes, this is great. Now you can scroll down. Then I will adjust my shape to be something like this. I'll bring this down like this. Now you will go to shape style. But before then, let's scroll this down. Click on style. Now you can see the corner rounding. We want it to have a curve edges. You can see that. You can see that the shape is curving. So we want it to have a curve edges. So I think um, 70 is okay here. Yeah? So I'll bring this down a little bit. Now you can see the border weight. Look at this. We want to give it a border weight. But then we only need like two. Two is enough. Then I'll scroll down. Now you see this border color, click on it and we are going to be using a brown shape, a brown color for our border color, then scroll down. Yes, this is actually great. But then I will still adjust this a bit more by bringing it inside a little bit. And yes, we are now good to go. We are now good to go. Now the next thing we are going to do is to start bringing in our text, to start bringing in our text. But before that, we are going to bring in a circle shape. This particular circle shape you are seeing right here. Now the color we are going to use for our circle shape is going to be that yellow color. That particular yellow color we are using on the shape. Then we will scroll down. Now just position it around here. Now I'm going to bring in the logo I actually used. Alright, so as you can see this is the logo right here. So I will tap on it. In your own case, you have to locate it from your gallery. It is because I have imported it. That's why I take mine from the upload. So I'll reduce the size to make sure it fits in with this circle properly. Now you will position it inside the circle. You can see that line that it is showing me inside the circle. That's two broken line, the vertical and horizontal line. It means it is properly positioned at the middle of the circle. Now you can see the color that is on that particular um, logo, right? I want to change it. Please note that this is not a normal logo. I only downloaded it. So I'll go to, um, to change the color. You cannot just scroll and go to somewhere and then click on color to change the color of that particular logo. You have to click on this place you are seeing FX effect. In your own case, you might be seeing something like effect. It is still the same thing. Let me explain what I'm trying to say. If you, are, if you have clicked on FX effect, all you need to do is to click on draw tone. Then locate, um, click on this place you are seeing draw tone, right? Click on draw tone. But in your own case, you might not really see something like FX effect. It might be effect, but then you can switch. You can switch because Canva has two type of edition. We have the new edition and the old editor, right? So you can click on this. Then I can switch to the new um, to the old editor. So in this case, you you can see it has changed to effect instead of FX effect. So I'll just tap on it. I'll tap on it. So when you tap on it, all you need to do just make sure you locate that place you are going to see draw tone. 
you can see it just locate where you are going to see dual tone all right now as you can see we have different type of color right here and we want to work with the brown color you can actually use different type of color or you locate something that is relating to the, to the type of color you want to use but then anyone you feel like using just tap on it now tap on that particular color again now you can change the color by clicking on this place you are seeing highlight color right click on this color then change it to the brown tap on back click on this shadow color as well change it to that same brown and we are going to be having the type of color we want and once you are done just click on done then you can scroll down as you can see when i switch to the um, new um to the old editor my background was replaced automatically so i'll just click on my effect again then i'll remove the background by clicking off on bg remover so the boot is still the same thing either you are using old editor or the new editor the, the differences is not really much the differences are not really much but i would always recommend you to use the new editor because it has more function all right now as you can see we are done with this that is the method by which you can always change the color of an imported element. If you import any element and you want to change the color, just tap on it, go to dual tone and just follow this, um, the process we use now. Now you can see this yellow shape, we are going to tap on it. In case your hand cannot touch it, just zoom in. So you have enough time, um, enough space to tap on it. Now go to more. By scrolling to this place you are seeing more, or just click on this three dots icon you are seeing at the top of the shape, it's still the same thing. Then click on select multiple. Now, after tapping on, um, after clicking on select multiple, click on this as well. You can see we have selected two things, the circle and the other one. Then click on group. Scroll to where you're going to see group. Now, when you group them, it means they are going to remain as one. They are going to become one. So I'm going to reduce the size to something really small, like something really, really small. So it is going to save as our logo. It is going to save as our logo, right? So I'll just position it around here. Let me scroll in. So we can see what we are doing properly all right now i want to bring in a text so i'll just tap on plus i'll come to my text then i'll click on add a sub heading now the text i want to use is just the brand name please note that this is a fictional design so i just using um beauty air plug beauty air plug then i'll reduce the size to something small like this then position it in front of the logo. But before then, let's reduce the size a bit more. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think this is actually great. But then the color we want to use is not black. So I'll tap on the, the Beauty Air Plug text. Then scroll to where you're going to see color. And I'm going to select that same brown color. That brown color. Then I'll scroll down. And as you can see, we are done with that. Now we want to bring in a line. By tapping on plus... Click on shape. Now, the shape we actually want to bring in is a square shape with the curve edges, right? Now, please make sure you follow me carefully. Adjust your shape to something like this. We want to position it beneath that beauty here plug text. But this, there is a kind of trick we want to apply to this particular line. All you need to do is to click on color. Now, we want to use a gradient color. We want to use a gradient color. Now, how do we do that? Just tap on this place you are seeing um, loss right here. Click on this place you are seeing plus. Okay. So when you tap on plus, you can see this place you are seeing co solid color. Move it to gradient. Move the solid color to gradient. Now, when you click on gradient, look at the type of style we want to use. This is the type of gradient fill that we want to use. So make sure you tap on it. Now, we are having two gradient style here. And if you should see, look at what I'm trying to say. Look at what I'm trying to say. We have different type of gradient style. We have different types. So we want to use this first one. You can see the, the this, um, this part is having brown, right? And the other one is having yellow. Now you see this brown, tap on it. Then click on this color soccer to suck a color from the brown color, the original brown color we are using on the down shape. So we can have that exact color. Then tap on this back icon. Now you see this yellow, that is this the, the other side. Now you can see this thing right here. Just bring it down to zero because we want to make it transparent. Bring it down to the zero level because we don't want that one to have any color at all. And now we are good to go. That is basically what we want to form. And then you can now scroll down. You can see what we have been able to form, a fading effect. Then I will scroll down. Like I will adjust my shape to something like this. I'll go to my style, 
Now you can see this corner rounding. I will increase it to 100. This corner rounding, increase it to 100. And now look at the type of line we have been able to form. That is, the line was fading. It started, um, it was actually visible from the right hand side, but then the left hand side was faded out. Yes. So I'll tap on the line, then move it up a little. And let's see what we've got. Yes, I think this is actually nice, but I want to move it up a bit more. I'll go to my notch and then click on up to move it up a little. Yeah, this is actually great. This is actually great. Now we are already making progress. I'd like to increase this the length of my the width of my line a bit more. Now I want to bring in another text by tapping on plus. Click on text. This time around, we'll click on add a heading. So we'll just bring in a catchphrase, right? We'll bring in a catchphrase. We'll just bring in um I I, I used elevate your hairstyle, right? Sorry, elevate your look. Elevate your look with our hair services or with our hair service. All right. Now I'll reduce the size to something a bit small, and then I'll position it around here. Make sure your color is brown. It has automatically attracted that particular brown color. That is why I'm not going to tamper with mine. So I will go to my FF font to change the font. Then the font I would like to use here is leaks pattern. This leaks pattern. All right, then I will scroll down. Now, I will increase the size of my text a bit. Now, you can see this I, this thing you are seeing right here. Tap on it to crop out your text to something like this. All right, now position it around here. I will position it around here. Now, I will go to my B format. We want to use the right hand side alignment. We want our text to start arranging from the right hand side. So just use the right hand side alignment, then scroll down. I will adjust this like this, then increase the size more. Now we'll go to our spacing. Just scroll to where you are going to see spacing. Now you can see this line spacing. The, the, the spacing between each text is too much. So we'll just bring it closer to each other. All right. I think 1.05 is okay. Then I'll bring it down a bit. Yes, this is actually great. This is actually great. But then I want to adjust this line, this particular line right here. Then I'll bring it down a bit, just a little bit. I'll go to my notch to adjust the line all right now we are good to go all right now the next thing we want to do is to bring in another shape so i'll just tap on plus click on elements then i'll bring in a square shape then i'll adjust my square shape around here so I'll drag it. All right. Then the color is going to be black. I'll select a black color. Now I'll go to my transparency because I want to reduce the transparency. But before that, let's go to position to move it to the back, not to back. Just click on backward so that it can be at the back of that lady. Then go to transparency. Then when you click on transparency, bring the transparency to like 15 or 10. 10 is okay. 10 is okay. You can see that it's so that we can have this type of feel. So tap on plus again. But instead of you tapping on plus again, just copy this text because we have um, this particular shape. We want to bring in a shape. Then adjust it to be um position it around here like this. Right? Then adjust it to something like this. You can see that line is showing me that broken line is to make sure you are working with alignment. That is our our um our elements are on the same line always make sure you take note of the line so i will go to color then i will select that white color this time around i will not have to go and add another stroke again because we also need the stroke now you can go to style you see this corner rounding is too much so we want to um, adjust it to like 15 or 10. let's just work with 15. okay this is actually great you can see that so we are going to tap on this shape and make sure we position it at the middle of that black shape. You can see that line is showing me, that tiny line, that tiny line. 
that um, horizontal line that is showing on the lady's teeth, it means it's actually um, on at the middle of that particular shape we brought in earlier. That is basically what we wanted. And as well, the other line is showing on that text, making sure our elements are positioned properly. You can see what I'm trying to talk about. Then tap on this icon. Now we want to bring in the rest of the images. Now just tap on plus. Like I've said, all you need to do is to click on gallery, locate the image, click on add to page. Now, reduce the size of your image to something really, really small, right? Now, in case you can always zoom in, you can always zoom in. All right, you can see that, right? Then I'll scroll down. Now I'll go to my style. This place you are seeing style. I'll add a border width. And the border width is just going to be two. Two is enough for the border width. Now the border color is going to be that same brown color. And now you can see what we've got. You can see what we've got. So we are going to do the same thing for the rest of the two images. By clicking on the next image. Alright. So I will, I will reduce the size of this one as well. I will reduce the size to something small as well. To make sure it fits in with that particular... You can see that line is showing me. Then I will go to style. I will add the border weight. Make sure my border weight is just the same number as the first one, which is 2. Then I will select border color. And select that brown shape. Um, brown color. And this is what we've got. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the third image. All right, so this is the third image I actually used. So I'll tap on it. Now I'm going to reduce the size to something small as well. Then I'll position that around here. You can see that, right? Then I'll click on style. The same thing by adding a border width. I'll reduce it to two. Scroll down. Change the border color to that same brown scroll down and this time around i want this image to face inside so i'll just go to flip then i'll flip it horizontal so that it can face the other way around now we want to make sure this are balanced so this is how we go about that by increasing the width reduce the size a bit all right you can see the line it's showing me and that number we want to make sure the number is going to show you can see that 49 49 then we are good to go now we are okay with this now the next thing we're going to do is to start um to bring in you can just tap on this right here or bring in another line um another shape rather now we are just this like this we adjust it around here we want to bring in a small shape Then we'll position that around here. You can see that, right? Now, the color we are going to be using here is going to be a brown color. Then we'll scroll down. And then the color for the border is going to be that yellow color. And let's see what we got. Yes. Now, you see this beauty air plug? Copy it by duplicating the text. Position it here. Edit. And then we'll just type in reach us today. Reach us today. Now, the reason why you are not seeing it is because it is brown color. So, we are going to be changing the color. We'll go to color. Then, after tapping on color, just select that yellow color. Then, scroll down. Then, you can zoom in, right? You can zoom in to make sure this is on the same line. You can see it. Is You can see that line is showing me inside, right? That's basically what we want. Now we are almost done with our design. All we need to do now is to just start bringing in the Instagram icon and the WhatsApp icon to just bring in um, the little, little things we need to do. So tap on plus. Now you can go to your elements, right? You can also import those resources. I'm going to provide you with the resources. So I'm having access to the Canva Pro. I can always use any resources I want directly 
from inside the Canva. So I'll just search for the element by typing location icon PNG. Location icon PNG. You can see there are different type of location icon here. So I'm going to be working with this particular one, right? So I'll reduce the size to something really small. Then I'll position it around here like this. When it show you that line, it means it is at that time um, that broken line. Now you can see this black color. This place you can see is having two colors. It's because that location icon is having two colors as well. I'll change this black to brown. Then you can see this white color. I'll change it to that yellow color. And we are good to go. Now I want to bring in a text. But before that, I want to reduce this a bit more. If you are finding it hard to adjust your element, you can always zoom in. And I think this is actually great. So I'll bring in a text. I'll click on add a little bit of body text. I'll clear it up and just input um, the location I use, which is Lekki phase one. So I think that is phase I, comma. If it is phase two, you use double I. That is um, Lagos, nine, um, sorry. You can use Lagos, Nigeria, and you can use Lagos states. All right. So I'll, I'll zoom out. You can see my text right here. I'll bring it around here. Adjust it to something like this and reduce the size to something smaller. Then I'll position it just in front of that location icon. Now go to color to change the color to a white color. Then I'll scroll down. Now we are going to do the same thing for the WhatsApp icon. So you can go to your um, elements. If you're having access to the Canva Pro, you can always search, all right? You can always search for, let's say I want to use um, WhatsApp icon. So I'll just search for WhatsApp icon PNG, right? So anyone you are seeing with crown, anything you are seeing with all this pro or anything like crown, it means it is only available for those having access to the pro version. But the resources is going to be provided for you, right? The resources is going to be provided for you. Now you can see this is basically what I needed, the WhatsApp icon. Now you can just click on color. It is easier when you import resources from this thing. I'll change it to brown. Then I'll reduce the size to something really small. Something really, really small. Then I'll position it around here like this. Now, we are going to do the same for the Instagram icon. But this time around, I would like to bring it in for my gallery. So that it will not cause confusion for those that are not having access to the pro version of the Canva. So I'll click on recent. Then I'll click on download because it's under my download folder. So I think this is it. All right, you can see this is the WhatsApp icon I initially used for the main design. But then this is not going to be having color. If you want to change the color now, you have to go and use the same function I showed you earlier by tapping on effects. Then after tapping on effects, you go to draw tone, right? You go to draw tone. Then after tapping on draw tone, you can tap on anyone, click on edit, change the highlight color to the brown color we want to use or any color you feel like using, scroll, um, scroll back, click on shadow color, change it as well then scroll back then when you are done with that just click on done right click on done then you can scroll down you can see that's the method by which you can change the color if you import any element so i'll delete this i would like to use this so that it will not cause confusion for those that are not having access to the canva pro but then if you need the canva pro you can always reach out to me i have a trusted vendor i can refer you to all right so i will zoom in i will zoom in I want to reduce the size a bit more yeah so i'm going to do the same thing for the instagram icon so for this video not to be too long i'm going to fast forward it till i'm done all right creative so as you can see i am done changing the color for the boats so i'll just scroll down to something like this and you can see what we've got so i'll tap on this text after tapping on it i will duplicate that text then position it around here now i'm going to change the color of the text to brown right now we edit it and then input my own phone number this is a fictional design so you can as well just use your phone number instead 
it's now a must for you to use my own phone number please you can use your own phone number too so i'll position it around here now i'll duplicate the text i'll copy the when i say duplicate i mean copyright you can see that line is showing you please always work with alignment It's very very important always work with alignment so i'll duplicate the text position it around here now click on edit then input the instagram name i use which is beauty underscore a underscore plug so this is a fictional design please in case of copyright okay this is a fictional design and i would not um like you to go and search on instagram then you now think i'm the one um maybe i'm working for that brand i know nothing about it this is just a fictional design and as you can see now we are done with the design you can see everything was built from scratch creativity is very very easy you just need to be able to think differently so to be able to save your design now all you need to do is to click on this download icon and then your design is going to start saving and you are going to find it in your gallery in a folder named canva so make sure you follow this video carefully to the end understand and i'll be waiting for your own replica in the assignments group so thank you for sticking around to the end of this video i hope you have learned and it has been helpful see you on the next one